Hair, Wikipedia Audio See Text Hares and jackrabbits are leporids belonging to the genus Lepus. Hares are classified into the same family as rabbits. They are similar in size and form to rabbits and eat the same diet. They are generally herbivorous and long-eared, they are fast runners, and they typically live solitarily or in pairs. Hare species are native to Africa, Eurasia, North America, and the Japanese archipelago. Five leopard species with hair in their common names are not considered true hares, the hispid hare, and four species known as red rock hares. Meanwhile, jackrabbits are hares rather than rabbits. Biology A hare less than one year old is called a leveret. The collective noun for a group of hares is a drove. Hares are swift animals, the European hare can run up to 56 km per hour. The five species of jackrabbits found in Central and Western North America are able to run at 64 km per hour, and can leap up to 3 m at a time. Normally a shy animal. The European brown hare changes its behavior in spring, when hares can be seen in daytime chasing one another, this appears to be competition between males to attain dominance. During this spring frenzy, hares can be seen boxing, one hare striking another with its paws. For a long time, this had been thought to be only inter-male competition, but closer observation has revealed it can also be a female hitting a male to prevent copulation. Hares do not bear their young below ground in a burrow as do other leporids, but rather in a shallow depression or flattened nest of grass called a form. Young hares are adapted to the lack of physical protection, relative to that afforded by a burrow, by being born fully furred and with eyes open. They are hence precocial, and are able to fend for themselves soon after birth. By contrast, the related rabbits and cottontail rabbits are altricial, having young that are born blind and hairless. All rabbits live underground in burrows or warrens, while hares live in simple nests above the ground, and usually do not live in groups. Hares are generally larger than rabbits with longer ears, and have black markings on their fur. Hares have not been domesticated, while rabbits are raised for food and kept as house pets. The domestic pet known as the Belgian hare is a rabbit that has been selectively bred to resemble a hare. Hares have jointed, or kinetic, skulls, unique among mammals. They have 48 chromosomes while rabbits have 44. The 32 species listed are Hares and rabbits are plentiful in many areas, adapt to a wide variety of conditions, and reproduce quickly, so hunting is often less regulated than for other varieties of game. In rural areas of North America and particularly in pioneer times, they were a common source of meat. Because of their extremely low fat content, they are a poor choice as a survival food. Hares can be prepared in the same manner as rabbits commonly roasted or taken apart for breading and frying. Differences from rabbits Hasenpfeffer is a traditional German stew made from marinated rabbit or hare. Pfeffer is not only the name of a spice, but also of a dish where the animal's blood is used as a thickening agent for the sauce. Wine or vinegar is also a prominent ingredient, to lend a sourness to the recipe. Lagos Stefadu hair stew with pearl onions, vinegar, red wine, and cinnamon is a much prized dish enjoyed in Greece and Cyprus and communities in the diaspora, particularly in Australia where the hare is hunted as a feral pest. Jugged hare, known as civet de lover in France, is a whole hare, cut into pieces, marinated, 
and cooked with red wine and juniper berries in a tall jug that stands in a pan of water. It traditionally is served with the hare's blood and port wine. Jugged hare is described in the influential 18th century cookbook, The Art of Cookery by Hannah Glass, with a recipe titled, A Jugged Hare, that begins, Cut it into little pieces, lard them here and there. The recipe goes on to describe cooking the pieces of hair in water in a jug set within a bath of boiling water to cook for three hours. Beginning in the 19th century, Glass has been widely credited with having started the recipe with the words first, catch your hair, as in this citation. This attribution is apocryphal. Having a freshly caught hair enables one to obtain its blood. A freshly killed hare is prepared for jugging by removing its entrails and then hanging it in a larder by its hind legs, which causes the blood to accumulate in the chest cavity. One method of preserving the blood after draining it from the hare is to mix it with red wine vinegar to prevent coagulation, and then to store it in a freezer. Many other British cookbooks from before the middle of the 20th century have recipes for jugged hare. Merle and Reich have this to say about jugged hair, for example. In 2006, a survey of 2021 people for the UK TV food television channel found only 1.6% of the people under 25 recognised jugged hair by name. 7 of 10 stated they would refuse to eat jugged hair if it were served at the house of a friend or a relative. Classification As food The hare is a staple of Maltese cuisine. The dish was presented to the island's Grand Masters of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, as well as Renaissance Inquisitors resident on the island, several of whom went on to become Pope. Folklore and Mythology Famous Hares in Fiction Famous hares in art. Three hares. Place names. According to Jewish tradition, the hare is among mammals deemed not kosher, and therefore not eaten by observant Jews. According to Islamic dietary laws, Muslims deem koni meat halal, and in Egypt, hare and rabbit are popular meats for mulakaya, especially in Cairo. The Shia, though, have difference in opinion. In England, a now rarely served dish is potted hare. The hare meat is cooked, then covered in at least one inch of butter. The butter is a preservative, the dish can be stored for up to several months. It is served cold, often on bread or as an appetizer. The hare in African folk tales is a trickster. Some of the stories about the hare were retold among African slaves in America, and are the basis of the BRER rabbit stories. The hare appears in English folklore in the saying as mad as a March hare and in the legend of the white hare that alternatively tells of a witch who takes the form of a white hare and goes out looking for prey at night or of the spirit of a broken-hearted maiden who cannot rest and who haunts her unfaithful lover. Many cultures, including the Chinese, Japanese, and Mexican, see a hare in the pattern of dark patches in the moon. The constellation Lepus is also taken to represent a hare. The hare was once regarded as an animal sacred to Aphrodite and Eros because of its high libido. Live hares were often presented as a gift of love. Now the hare is commonly associated with the Anglo-Saxon goddess Ostra, and therefore pagan symbols like the Easter bunny have been appropriated into the Christian tradition. However, no primary sources support this belief, which seems to be a modern invention. In European tradition, the hare symbolizes the two qualities of swiftness and timidity. The latter once gave the European hare the Linnaean name Lepus timidus that is now limited to the mountain hare. 
Several ancient fables depict the hare in flight, in one concerning the hares and the frogs they even decide to commit mass suicide until they come across a creature so timid that it is even frightened of them. Conversely, in the tortoise and the hare, the best known among Aesop's fables, the hare loses a race through being too confident in its swiftness. In Irish folklore, the hare is often associated with Sid or other pagan elements. In these stories, characters who harm hares often suffer dreadful consequences. In June 2014, the Pushkin House hosted the International Conference, The Philosophy of the Hare, Unexpected Perspectives in the Research in the Humanities. The conference organizers came up with the idea as a retort to an earlier claim by Russia's Minister of Culture Vladimir Medinsky that humanities scholars were wasting government money conducting research on incomprehensible topics with names such as the one they chose. A study in 2004 followed the history and migration of a symbolic image of three hairs with conjoined ears. In this image, three hairs are seen chasing each other in a circle with their heads near its center. While each of the animals appears to have two ears, only three ears are depicted. The ears form a triangle at the center of the circle and each is shared by two of the hairs. The image has been traced from Christian churches in the English county of Devon right back along the Silk Road to China, via Western and Eastern Europe and the Middle East. Before its appearance in China, it was possibly first depicted in the Middle East before being re-imported centuries later. Its use is associated with Christian, Jewish, Islamic and Buddhist sites stretching back to about 600 CE. The hare has given rise to local place names, as they can often be observed in favoured localities. An example in Scotland is Merchland, Merchan being a Scots word for a hare.